Welcome to our weekly maritime video blog. I'm Corey Ransom with International Maritime Security Associates. This week, we are talking blockchain and the maritime industry. There has been a lot of discussion in the national and international news media about Bitcoin, one of the more popular cryptocurrencies and the trading of Bitcoin and all the things that are happening with that. There's a really interesting technology behind Bitcoin called blockchain. And blockchain is the technology that really kind of organizes the, the Bitcoin transaction. So over the last year, this blockchain technology has also been getting a lot of press and media because of the potential use of blockchain in other industries. Now, the news media, I think, gets way ahead of where the technology is. There's still a ton of research and development that's being done with the blockchain technology to really understand this software platform and the technology behind it, and then how we can pull this use into different industries. So there's a number of companies that have popped up with blockchain in their name or they say that they do blockchain and there's probably only a handful of companies that really understand this technology to the level to be able to deploy it. So on this video blog and our video blog next week, we thought we would take a little bit of time to talk about blockchain and the technology behind it, but also how we see the use and the potential use of blockchain in the maritime industry, which our technology team, we feel that there's a number of uses. Some of them are relevant to us and the ARM software platform that we're gonna be launching later this year. So we're excited to see how we can incorporate blockchain into the ARMS platform, but just also other functions and uses within the maritime industry. So as with everything, we thought we would just do a little bit of review, talk a little bit about the technology and some of the things that, that are happening with it. We're also gonna have a number of links to different things that we talk about, some really good articles about it, just so you guys can get up to speed um, on blockchain and have a better understanding. There is so much press out there about blockchain, but we wanted to kind of weed through some of the stuff that's more hype and talk realistically about the technology and, and the capabilities of it. So blockchain is the technology that was created with Bitcoin, the cryptocurrency, to be able to record and track transactions. And the interesting thing about blockchain is it's really a distributed ledger. And each block, when you build a block, depends on the block previous to it. Theoretically, these blocks are immutable. So what that means is you can't go back and change a block after the information has been put into the block. Now, there's a couple of articles we're gonna put down below. There's a, a couple of people in, in this field who believe that you can go back and change it, and there's a lot of testing going on to see how you can go back and change. And that's more on the security side of it to see how we can work to improve blockchain. So there's a couple of articles we'll put down below that talks about, you know, that it's not an immutable technology, but we'll let you guys take a look at that and read that. So what happens is, is as blockchain being a distributed ledger, it's great when you have transactions that require multiple parties. So if I am going to do a transaction with someone else, I would record that transaction in my own ledger, in my accounting software or Excel spreadsheet, and the person I'm doing the transaction with would do the same on theirs. If either one of us has an error, when we go back later on to reconcile that transaction, it's really difficult to determine, okay, who's right and who's wrong. Now. It's really simple if there's only one transaction because you usually can get to the bottom of it pretty quickly. But if you have thousands of transactions, when you think about the movement of thousands of containers and you have all of these transactions that are taking place, it's really difficult to be able to track every single one of these different transactions. So the cool thing about uh, blockchain technology is, is it starts to build a, a block or individual blocks that become a chain, and that's the ledger. So we put information in, and it's a ledger that I can see, and also the person that I'm doing the transaction with can see. And that block, once 
the information is set, we can't go back and change it. So that's the other interesting thing. So if there is a mistake, we basically have to build another block that relies on the block previous to it. So it's really cool from the fact is, if you have multiple transactions, you can build multiple blocks with multiple people and everybody can see the progression of whatever these multiple transactions are. So it's really great from an accounting perspective to be able to use this uh, blockchain technology. And as we start to think about it from a technology standpoint, I think we're gonna see literally thousands of different uses for the blockchain technology in the maritime industry, but I think in industries um, across you know, different areas of the world. And it may be maritime industry or transportation. We could see it in consumer goods. There's a number of things that we are pretty excited about when it comes to blockchain technology. One of the, the, the pieces behind blockchain technology is the hyperledger. The hyperledger really is a, a platform or a framework that the blockchain programs are built. There's five really main frameworks that are part of the Hyperledger and those frameworks are based on kind of what functionality you want uh, within what you're building for, for the blockchain. So it's pretty cool. Hyperledger was originally designed by IBM. So IBM has really been on the cutting edge of blockchain technology since the beginning and they've done some really cool things with it. One of the really interesting things that IBM has done with the blockchain technology is instead of holding the Hyperledger and all of this technology internal to IBM, they've basically moved it into the Linux Foundation. So with this, the Hyperledger is completely open. Um, and we'll put a link to the Hyperledger and the Linux Foundation. All of the code is open source. All the different projects are on there. And it's really cool from a developer standpoint to see all the different things that are happening. But the interesting thing is because blockchain technology is so new and so different, by putting it on the Linux Foundation and that to be the catalyst for movement of this technology, there's literally developers from around the world, thousands and thousands of developers who are a part of this to work to improve this technology. So that's a really interesting thing to see of how Hyperledger through the Linux Foundation is really going to help move the blockchain technology forward. So it's pretty exciting to see instead of one company holding the technology and really trying to move it forward, you really have a collaborative worldwide effort. And I think that's going to be the catalyst to really move blockchain technology into different industries around the world. A lot quicker potentially than it would be if one company held it. So from a maritime perspective, we see a number of uses here at IMSA for blockchain technology. We're looking at using parts of blockchain technology into the build out of our ARM software platform, the automated risk management solution. We'll put a link to our ARM software down below. But there's some really interesting uses we see potentially to be able to integrate into the ARM software platform. One of the biggest projects that that's come forward in the maritime industry is a joint venture between Maersk, the Danish shipping line, and IBM. This joint venture, new company, uh, started in December of 2017. It's 51% owned by Maersk, 49% owned by IBM. And what they're trying to do with this company is really to move forward to bring blockchain technology into the maritime industry. If you think about the number of people and organizations and transactions that take place in the maritime industry, if we think about just the movement of a container, there's a lot of people that are involved in the movement of that. So you can see that if you aren't all working off of basically one ledger or one journal, it can get very confusing, very convoluted, and very difficult to track. So back in 2016, Maersk and IBM did a test test where they tracked a container basically full of flowers from Mombasa, Kenya to Rotterdam. And they used blockchain technology to do this as an experiment. And, and both companies really saw the viability of using this technology in the maritime industry. So then that's what spurred this joint venture. So it's really cool to see what's happening. They're also looking at developing blockchain for insurance, 
purposes within the maritime industry. And as you start to think, just in our industry, there's literally probably hundreds of different uses, both big and small uses for the blockchain technology. So we're really excited uh, as we do research and development here at IMSA to look at how we can really integrate this technology to help our customers do what they do better do it more efficiently and more cost effectively. So what we're gonna do next week, make sure you tune in, a little bit of a teaser here, is we're gonna talk specifically about some of the examples of blockchain in the maritime industry and where we think the uses could potentially be in our industry. Thanks for joining us this week in part one of our series on blockchain in the maritime industry. If you like this video or any of our other content, make sure you hit that like button. We also invite you to subscribe to this channel so you get notified when we post new videos on different maritime related topics. Also, connect with us and join the conversation on our social media. Our social media is detailed in the banner above, but also in the comments section below. If there's anything that we can do for you as a company when it comes to maritime security, maritime risk management, regulatory compliance, or technology in the maritime industry, don't hesitate to reach out to us anytime. Because at IMSA, we're always here to steer you in the right direction.